Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of All Things Ido. Today's episode, I'm going to continue the understanding the PE plus file formats and this time we're going to talk about entry points, which means we're going to talk about the address of the entry points and the optional headers and also the TLS callbacks and the data directories. With that, let's get started. Now, normally if we try to load the PE file with Ida, and if that PE file has TLS callbacks, it will be available to us from the entry points. So if you press Ctrl E, we should be able to see it. So here, Ctrl E, and we have one TLS callback. So this is at rest, and this is the main input file. So Ida knows how to parse it and show us this. Now, what about if we are in a debugging session? So this is really easy. The file loader took care of that, but we want to explore it from the structure directly from memory like we did in the previous videos. So just as a refresher, if you go to the first video, the headers, that's where we talk about the image dose header and so on. So we're not going to start with the database. Instead, I'm going to simply attach to a running process and I'm going to attach to Chrome. So I'm going I run IDA with an empty database and switch to local Windows debugger and go to debugger attach. I'm gonna find Chrome and just pick any instance of Chrome and attach to it. Now that we're attached, our goal is to find all the entry points, which means the address of the entry point, and also if there are any TLS callbacks for all the loaded modules. So let's see if Chrome EXE has those callbacks. It should have a, at least an entry point, but we'll also look for TLS callbacks. So I'm going Going to jump to the module base and here we have the image dos header and from there we're gonna look at the address of entry point and TLS callbacks. So now since we started with an empty database I have to load the proper type information library so I'm gonna press shift F11 insert and this is 64-bit program so I'm gonna load MSSDK 64 underscore win 10 and that should be good enough we loaded all the needed types that we will apply into the database so so as we know here, I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to press Shift F1. That's the new IDA 8.4 local types. I'm going to import image underscore those header. As well, I'm going to be needing more things. So I'm going to press insert again at standard structure. And I'm going to also import image and T headers. Now, we don't have to specifically say image and T header 64. It is aliased. So we can just import MGNT header. It will bring the proper types. What I'm doing here for a PE plus applies for a 32-bit PE file. So now let's press Alt Q and let's apply the image dos header and Control plus to expand it. And here we know the PE header is at plus 78. So we're going to go here and go to plus 78. That's the PE header, Alt Q. And we're going to apply the image NT headers. Now we have all the image NT headers. And what we're looking for at first is the regular entry point. So it's going to be in the optional header. Here it is. And this is the RVA. So as well, if I copy it, Control S, go to the segment base. And then from here, go plus this. So base plus RVA gives us the full VA, the virtual address. And that's the actual entry point. This is the entry point. If you recognize this, this is C runtime entry, which will eventually go to main and so on. The users is main and so on. So this is the entry point. Now we have other entry points. The TLS callbacks are invoked before the address of the entry point. So if we're debugging malware, we need to put our breakpoints or start debugging from actual entry points. And the first ones are going to be all the TLS callbacks and then the main entry point, the address of entry point. And if our program has DLL dependencies, those DLLs as well, if they're imported by our program, they will get a chance to execute. And as well, their DLL main is also address of entry point. But if those DLLs have TLS callbacks then the TLS callbacks of the DLLs will be the first one to execute so really we have to know exactly where to start tracing from and so we should not be fooled by just simply looking at the regular entry points the address of entry point but we have to look at the dependencies and TLS callbacks all the way to our executable now if we go back to the image base and we can also go back to the PE header if you remember from our first video about the PE headers, we have as well data directories. 
So here are all the data directories. We have 16 data directories and it's like an array. So let's explore that real quick. So back to the local types. So that's the empty header, the signature, optional header and optional header. That's our address of entry point and 16 data directories. And those data directories, the first one is the export and so on. We don't have to remember the indices. In fact, there are symbolic constants that we can use. So I'm gonna now in the same local types window, press insert, go to the enums and import by symbol name. So there's a standard symbol name for that from the Windows SDK. And those indices are, for example, image directory entry underscore export underscore import. And there is one for underscore TLS, which has the value of nine. So the nines index in that data directory. So if I import that one, we should see it somewhere here and Ida doesn't know really where to stop. So we can control E here and clean it up a bit. So we can simply go until we find the ones we want and clear the rest. So what we want is just image directory entries. Now we don't have to do that. I'm just showing you just some tricks on here. We can say, for example, macro image data directory entries, for example. So that's a nice thing. We cleaned up the stuff we imported from IDA and this is a good enum. And index nine is what we want. Now, if we want to look at it, we can go to the directory here take that address and just say this is the address we want index 9 and the directory size is 8 bytes so two double words has the virtual address and the size so here as well and we can go to the same spot quickly so we're back here now this is a virtual address so again we have to go to the virtual address not the relative virtual address so here go back to the base and jump to here and this is our TLS. Now the TLS directory points as well to a known structure and we're gonna import that structure and apply it. So same story here, what do we apply? We're gonna apply a standard structure that describes the TLS contents. So we're gonna go to the local types, insert, I'm gonna insert a standard structure. I'm gonna search for the image TLS directory that contains the definition of the TLS. Now it has members we don't necessarily care about right now. We're looking exactly for entry points. So in the TLS directory, what we want really is the address of callbacks member. Now, if we're working 32 bits, those would be shorter. Now, these are not RVAs as we will see. Let's take a look. I'm gonna apply this and follow it. So here where we went to the VA of the TLS and now we're gonna apply it and control plus to expand it. And let's just change a bit, make those pointers. So I'm gonna just go back to the local types and press control O, control O and control O and let's just make this decimal. And this is the address of the callbacks. They have been relocated. So they're not RVAs, they are VAs. And so they're already direct addresses. So if I can walk from the image doors header and the headers data directory, entry number nine takes us to the TLS directory. And then we go to that member address of callbacks and that address of callbacks will be a list of pointers which point to the TLS functions and it will be null terminated. So from this point on here, all we have to do is just follow it and apply pointer sized values. So it's either DD for 32 bit or DQ or simply either can directly deduce that if you press control O for example. So control O that's the first pointer and we can keep doing that until we hit a null pointer and that's it. We don't have anything anymore. So here I'm going to make an array. Let's say items on a line one and here we have six TLS callbacks or entry points. And that will be the first thing that will be executed in that EXE, for example, before the entry point we looked at. So if we follow it, make code, and we can also check the segment anyway. So Alt S, we can see this is execute read in the code. And I renamed this to, let's say, Chrome underscore text section. And that's the first callback. And here, the TLS callback prototype is like the LL main. So we have the reason here. And here as well, another call back rcx rdx so rcx is the first argument which is the h module and rdx is the second one which is the reason and we have it here so this is how we do it manually now i'm gonna show you how we can automate that using either python under a debugging session so instead of doing this by hand we're gonna walk through the scripts 
and let it scan all the modules that we have loaded and display their entry points because right now in IDA there's no easy way for us to know what's the entry point if I right click this is all I have I have analyzed module and some other stuff like load symbols but no way to jump to any of the entry points let me go here and go to the file system invoke u and here i can switch to hex mode so i'm just going to press enter f8 show the pe header and f10 to see the data directories and here we have tls and indeed we have tls this looks familiar as well we looked at it that's the directory size as well and if i follow it that is what we looked at as well in ida but here we'll have to interpret it and so on so like the first eight and second eight and so on until we get the address of callbacks and then we follow them and so on notice here they are not rebased so the image base is one four and so on and here as well and those colors here slight difference in colors these are parts of the relocation okay so let's automate that with the script to save on time as well i wrote the script and i'm gonna walk you through the script so as usual please look at the previous videos we've done this so what i'm doing i'm gonna be using app call to nicely parse structures and access their members without having to call get d word and get q word unnecessarily i simply create a named type and then I retrieve that type, which will be nicely deserialized into a Python object, and I can access the fields. So let's start with the get module entry points. I let the user either pass the module name, so we look for the module name, and so here it goes to the helper method that enumerates all the loaded modules and look if the name specified matches one of the loaded modules. Like this, if we don't know the image base, we can just uh, give it the name, uh, but we need the image base. So once we get the image base, we go and retrieve the dos header so that's the app call retrieval to retrieve the structure here the image dos header and from there we need to go to the image nt header so we retrieve from the image base at elfa new which points us to the nt headers and then we need directory number nine which is the TLS. So we get the TLS directory and data directories are simply just with the virtual address and the size. If this is absent, then it means we do not have TLS entries. Now we're going to return a list of entries and always at index zero is going to be the entry point, the regular address of entry point retrieved from the image optional header and address of entry points. And then if we have the TLS directory, at least it has as virtual address what we do is we retrieve the TLS directory so here we have that structure so we use the same app call mechanism to retrieve that structure we retrieve the image TLS directory and from that we get the value of the address of callbacks let me just quickly show you this one so if you're using app call to deserialize 64-bit values then that value from app call we should access it as dot value if we are trying to retrieve a 32-bit number we just retrieve it as is and here i added a simple parameter to dereference if needed so it will either get keyword if we are 64-bit or not so that's just a simple helper okay back to the tls so we retrieve the address of callbacks and that's gonna be the base of the array so we're gonna go to the address of callbacks and we dereference it and then we are here and now from here we're gonna keep reading and dereferencing advancing by pointer size until we hit entry zero so let's just make this one the last entry so we get the callbacks space and then as long as we can read we have a callback we dereference and then we add it to our entries and then we advance by pointer size and return a list of entries and entry zero is the address of the entry point and if there are tls's then they will also be appended so here for example dump all we're gonna go for all the loaded modules and call the get module entry point for every module. So here we do the entry point. And then now if we have additional entries, they're gonna all be captured in the TLS effective addresses and we're gonna display their value. So now let me run that script and show you how it works. I'm gonna invoke Q script. So I'll shift F9 and this is the script. We're gonna run it and let's see what happens so here it went through every single loaded module and here for example chrome exe this is the entry point and these are all tls callbacks it's the first one we did by hand and so on and then chrome dll as well 
has its own entry point you can make code and it also has a bunch of tls callbacks so here we can quickly fix it for example and show the tls index so here let's say for example save and let's run it again and here we have tls1 tls2 and for chrome also we have chrome elf and input host has tls callbacks window management now one peculiar fact ntdll doesn't have an entry point so if we look it does have an entry point value but it's just the image base but all the rest have proper entry points except for ntdll just goes to the image base now same story if i run a 32-bit program so here i made a small test because i couldn't find find readily some 32-bit program on my system so here is suspended we can start another ida and attach and tls app so that's a 32-bit app and simply go back to our script and invoke it and let's take a look here what's happening so that's a 32-bit program can see here says wow and so on and i know from my test app that's the entry point of my test app it does have its own tls callback and also it has a support library which also has its single tls callback and that's it nothing else has tls callbacks all right so what we covered today are pe entry points and that means address of entry point and the tls callbacks if they exist we learned how to parse them manually we explained the TLS directory and so on, and starting from the image to header. And finally, we worked through the script that does that in an automated fashion. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you next time.